Hello everyone, winter is upon us and I wanted to celebrate by making a beautiful and easy snowflake. This is a super fun technique you can try out with your family over the holidays. And don't forget you can get an extended version of this episode and new ones every week on my Patreon from just $2 a month. I was asked to revisit one of my older designs with a cupcake. This is the canvas for today, it's an oval canvas and this is my cute cupcake. And I'm going to do a snowflake or wintery flower. This oval canvas is 40 by 30 centimeters. I'll show you my selection of paints. We've got, these are my own mixes except for ultramarine. So I've got ultramarine here. Some of them are mixed with per electric blue. I also added some paints gray, silver, and I've got per white. I also have lilac just in case. I'm not sure I'm going to use it. And that's another purpley bluey mix. Titanium white. And I used a little bit of black. I added to those blues because I wanted a really dark blue, but not really black. And this is the consistency. I'm just thinking of maybe thinning this one down a bit using my spray bottle. I'll tell you what's inside, one part of paint to one part of my pouring medium, which is PVA glue and water. And one part British Floetrol, which is thicker than the American one. And as I said, if it's too thick, I just spray some water in. My background color, that's... I actually want a gap for the flower. Let me just spread it nicely. Wasn't sure what background would look nice, but I definitely wanted blue. I am hoping that it's going to be a bit darker once it's dry. This is the section where I don't want any paint. Okay, that will do. Cupcake in the middle. Okay, first color. What do I want first? This darkest blue. I really like these cupcakes. <laughs> I've never baked anything in them, by the way. Now silver. Okay, now what? This blue. That silver looks like white, but it... Oh, did I put white? Oh my goodness! Okay, I added white by mistake. Mm, my bad, my bad. I'll be adding this dark in between. And then, and now, this is silver. Don't they look similar? That's why I got completely confused. I love that blue, you know? That blue is very, very pretty. Okay, let's add a bit more of this blue. If you want a bigger, well, let's call it a petal, then you add more paint. Otherwise, just a small amount. Oh, I love it. Well, no wonder I love it, because I love everything blue. Again, little partition with this dark, deepest one and silver. I actually don't mind the first one being white, you know. Oh, this is so pretty. Okay, now this blue again. That's a pretty blue. That's my logo blue. How awesome. I love it going down slowly. And what was next? Dark silver blue. The darkest blue. Uh oh, it's going quicker this way. And does it sometimes. All right. Uh, should I finish? One more, it's so much fun. Okay, now am I going to risk it and touch it with my fingers? Or am I going to use a needle? Oh, 
now with the needle I'm going to push these inwards I'm going to fill the inside with paint later on actually I feel like I could fill it with paint now have to decide which color which color would look awesome in the middle hmm? what about the same blue as here or the light blue yeah let's go for the light blue that's it Shall I make another circle? Well, let's just leave it for now and then I'll decide if I want a dark color in the middle. So time for the swipes. Now I'm cutting my strips. I've decided to add a drop of silicone to the pearl white. It's going to look nice with some cells. This is coconut hair serum. Oops, I think I put a bit too much. Now, how do I want to lay them out? Which color first? Didn't use this blue, so maybe that's the one I'm going to use here. This is a trial section, so let's see. What else shall we put here? See how big a swipe I'll get with this. And then white on top. And let's just swipe it down. Okay, let's just put some here. So blue, lilac, I think it was silver. And then was white. I think I'm going to put some in between later on anyway. Once it's dry, I'm sure the silver will be really nicely seen. You see the cells growing, it's looking a bit crazy now. I think I'm doing them in order. Because I want the edges to be like really silver once they get dry. See what happens when I torch it. So good. I don't know if it's going to be a snowflake or a mysterious octopus or something. I'm leaving the gaps in between because I want to add another petal on top. I'll just go around and continue the same. in between which is pretty tricky and I'm just hoping I'm not going to spoil it completely but oh okay I do like it that we've got dark here and light on top it's kind of interesting it's different This one, I just want to complete it before the background gets dry. There are some dry patches now. I've been a bit too long. I'm trying to make this one a bit thinner. Remember that the white is the one with a couple of drops of silicone. That will be fine. Eee, that's lovely. Happy with this one. Okay, now I need a couple here and we're done. So I was thinking about whether I wanted to add some silver foil to the center of my piece, but I couldn't make up my mind, so I asked my patrons for help and they voted to keep the center blue.
well, there we are. I hope you enjoyed this week's piece. I certainly enjoyed making it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and a big thank you to my patrons. You can get access to extended episodes and more. I want to wish you all a wonderful Merry Christmas and a huge thank you as we've just reached 400 thousand subscribers what an incredible present oh by the way there won't be an episode next week but i will see you all on the 31st thank you so much for watching bye bye